All right, what is up, y'all? Uh, this is Lunar Craft and Game, and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all how to do leather making. It's a very complex change since uh, vanilla Minecraft. You don't go around killing animals to get. Uh, now I actually have to kill animals to get pelts and then process it. All right, so one of the things that you're gonna want to do is get yourself a weapon and just go kill some animals. And when you kill them, you're going to get this. You're going to get some kind of pelt. And let me show you just kind of every single animal with their new mod, Animania, is adding in new types of uh, animals. And you have to make them happy. And uh, then they will reproduce. Once they reproduce, you can kill them. Uh, just watch out. A lot of them do attack back, and they can easily kill you. So once you get yourself that, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to get uh, something. It's a type of blade. The world is generating, so it's taking a little, little long for a lot of these. Now, there's all type of different things that you can do, but we're going to search for one of these. It's called a uh, a work blade, and let me show you just real quick what the recipe is. So we have a new thing. If you go to it, right click. There's this little book here. You click that, and it opens up this whole kind of inventory thing. Now this is going to show you. Uh, what you need in order to make something. So we click on blade, and you click on whichever one. I got the iron blade, so it's going to take an iron plate. You have an iron pen, and then you have uh, some kind of stick or bamboo or something like that. Well, we don't have iron plate, so let's take a look at that. So now you get an iron plate, type it in, you click, and it'll show you. Now some of these aren't really 100% like easy to understand. Like you can't just go about like this is if you have an iron sheet metal, which does take these plates. But since you don't have one, this is how to convert back. But um, you click on this one right here, you have yourself an iron ingot and an engineer's hammer. And therefore, you just keep searching and searching until you finally get it. Um, until you make everything, until you get to an iron work blade. So the next thing that you want to do is you want to take the iron. Let's go to this. You want to take the. Nope. I'm going to go back to the crafting table. You want to take the iron work blade and you want to craft it with the pelt. There we go. And you're going to get raw hide. Not raw hide, but raw hide. All right, there we go. We have a bunch of these. Okay, so the next step is you have to salt the hides. Um, so the best way you can go and find, um, like, uh, where are they? They're like salt mines and stuff like that. Um, yeah, they're not in this. But anyways, there's a lot easier way to do this. You can actually dehydrate it from another mod that we have. Or it's off of Animania. So all this whole leather stuff is from Primal Core. But if you build this cheese mold, I know it sounds really funny. And what you want to do, you place them down. They're pretty cheap. They take a little bit of iron and some wood. And then you get... Add in some water. Get rid of that. There you go. So you see... Up on the top left, it says it's a cheese mold from Animania. Use an axe to break it. And the aging process is how long it's been running. How close is it to finishing? Add in a bucket of water, and you can see it has tank. And you can see the difference. This one is empty. This one is blue. And it's filled with water. So once you've done all that, what you're going to eventually get to is... Let me get down to it. You're going to want salt. Trying to find a specific. Here we go. Most salt that you get in the game is going to automatically convert to this salt right here. So you want to go to your crafting, and you can do this in your own crafting, but because I'm in creative mode, it's kind of disabled. And then you get salted hide. So we'll craft all that. All right. So now we've gone through killing the animal, getting the pelt, making the blade, turning it into raw hide, getting salt, and salting it. So you can tell it's already a long process. Next, you want to get some sand. Now, I've heard that it doesn't work. You can do it off sand. Sand makes it faster. But I've also heard that you need sand or it won't work. So you get some sand. Do it anyways kind of thing. And then you get drying racks. And you make those. And that's a long process. About four or five steps in. And you can make one of these. Now you just go ahead and you plop down this salted hide. And you're going to want it to... It's you're, you're drying it out at this point. And letting the salt do its work. And this can take a lot of time. So go off, do adventuring, or good work on animals, or something like that. And then when you come back to it, what you're going to get, I'm getting rid of all of these, so you're going to get dried hide. 
kind of makes sense. So now that you have dried hide, we're coming near the end. But this is where it gets complicated. Okay, most of this is just kind of making resources. So what we want to do, and I'm just going to go ahead and get this. We're going to pretend there that was a tree. You want to shit hold. You want to get the wood. You're going to hold down shift and get the iron blade out, and right click. And you might have to do it a couple of times, and then you're going to get bark. I don't know if it's there. It is. Here's the bark. Now this is incredibly important. Uh, these you have to break down. You can turn into other things too. And I got to get just a little bit more. I need to make sure I have twenty. Uh, I've tested smaller numbers. It's not based on time, it's based on how many, and you'll see what I'm talking about in, here in a minute. Uh, I found 20 is a safe number. Okay, so you want 20 bark, and then you want to make something called a cauldron. Now, I'm not talking about the cauldron here. This is uh, the Minecraft cauldron. This is the normal one. What you want is this iron cauldron. Okay. So once you place that, you want to fill it up with water. Oh, it is infinite. Sweet. Okay. So now it's full with water. What do you need to cook? You need yourself a fire. Now there's many different ways you can do this. The first thing you want is a flint and steel. That's how you're going to create some fire. Now you can cook it like this, right? But wood only lasts for a little while. Or you can get nether rack. That can be kind of difficult to get. So nether rack is nice because once you cook it, it doesn't stop being on fire. I have the animations off, by the way, so that's why it looks weird. Um, but you need some kind of source, heat source underneath. And yes, and this is actually how I do it in game, you can use lava. So if you do that, that's going to provide as a heat source. Now we're getting ready to start cooking, but we're not there yet. Next thing you want is a ladle. Now you don't necessarily need the ladle, but I have found that without the later ladle, this can be incredibly confusing, complex, and just add so much more difficulty than you really want it to be. So if you right click with the ladle on the side of it, you can see it says you have 4,000 water, or it's milliliters of water, and then the heat level is 0.5. So actually we want the heat to be just a little bit more. Eventually what you, you're gonna get is you're gonna get to about 0.75 to 1, and then you'll be good. Now we're ready for the fun. So now that, let me get the bark again. I toss that out. Okay, we'll get that. Now what you want to do, and this is actually not in game yet. Um, so talk to one of the admins, uh, myself included, and we will be able to uh, get you a stone basin because there's another recipe from one of the mods that replaces it with a stone bucket and technically that right now there's no way to actually craft it we're looking to either fix that or be able to make it as an item that you can purchase through the whole endo pay, ender pay thing but either way so you want that and you want a rock now rocks are very easy to get and you want to make a hammer called a Gallagher this is a lot of stuff this is, but it's one of those once you get it set up it's easy but you have to get it set up all right, so we're going to do that, and we're going to put in some stone. That was actually right there. Okay, so now we have some stone. Get rid of the wood. I'm actually going to go off of creative mode to show you this. So when you make a Gallagher, you get... All right, you break stone with it, and you get rocks. So you want rocks. And one of the big tricks that I'm going to tell you real quick is when you do make a Gallagher. Okay, it's going to tell you you need this. Just go out and punch some stuff, uh, some grass and all that kind of stuff. And um, I'll show you. You get plant fibers and you put three of them across and you get a plant twine. So that's actually a very important uh, key thing that I want to make sure I tell you. So now that you have some rock and you have yourself a stone basin and you have some bark pretty much doing is like a mortar and pestle with it. You're crushing the bark to get a ground resin. Okay. And now that we have the ground resin, come over to our heat up. Oh, there we go. It's at 0.75. So it takes a while to heat up the water. That's what it all comes down to. And now it's at 0.75. You take it and you drop it in. 
Now all disappeared. It didn't get you have to be careful not to drop it on the side of the cauldron or it's going to go in the lava or the fire and just disappear. Uh, so you want to put it like up here and it'll automatically pick it up like a hopper or something. But if you right click, you can see ground resin. We've got 64 of them. Now that takes time. That might take you 15, 20 more minutes and then it's going to turn into tannin. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cheat the system because I'm not going to wait over time for this. Um, you can sit here and take this little top right here and just plop it on. It might cook. It might heat up the water a little faster. So now we got ourselves the cauldron, and we're gonna get some tannin. Get okay, just a bucket of it. Okay, so that's what it's gonna look like once that's done. And you can see if you look at it on the top left, the tank is blue. Whereas here, it's a, it's this like orangish brown color because it's full of tannin, so it changes it. That's how you know just by looking at it. Okay, so then we're gonna, remember, always uh, put down our lava, put that there, get out of the scorpion. And now you take the dried hide and you plop it in there. Oop, it's a little too high. Okay, now we take the ladle, and we right click, it says 64 dried hide. That's always good. So what's going to happen is it's going to just slowly uh, cook um, the dried hide and fill it, or cover it with tannin. And I'm going to try and see if I, if I can get this to speed up. Now once you, you can't really see anything with the ladle, so if you right or if you shift right click the top, oops, it gave me a bunch of the dried hide back. Now once this takes time. Uh, or once it's done and you hit the ladle, it'll say um, tanned hide. And you go over and make sure you're looking at the top of it, shift, and you right click, and you'll get your items back. But because I only had the uh, dried hide in there, it picked up the dried hide. You can run a hopper as well, or some kind of uh, piping system, to, and it'll only pull out the uh, tanned hide. Now we're coming up to the end of it. Don't worry. Now you take your tanned hide and you put it up there. And once it's dried out, you finally get yourself some leather. And that's how you make leather in uh, the new mod pack that we have. It's a little bit tedious, but once you get things going, I've been able to process hundreds in no time at all. So uh, it's complicated starting off. If you need any help, just ask anybody. Uh, again, I'm Lunocraft in the game. So if you have any questions, you have, please feel free to ask me and I can help show you how to do it, or maybe even uh, help provide some stuff to get you there.